Hello everyone, my name is Katie Flanagan and I'm a career advisor here at Baldwin Wallace University Career Services and I'm excited to be going over Handshake Secrets. We want you to be a super user of Handshake, so we are going to cover how having a completed profile can benefit you, how to use Handshake for job searches and applications, and accessing career services resources and making appointments. So first let's go up to the top right corner to our profile. So your profile could be five times more likely to be viewed if it is complete. Notice that this test student is working towards that completion and it gives suggestions how to make it more complete. You can fill in different sections based on resume uploads. So making sure that you have a stellar resume and hit build from profile whenever you upload it. That will help fill in sections such as work and volunteer experience, organizations and extracurriculars, courses and projects. Another thing you want to take note of is this interest section. So you want to edit this to make it relevant to whatever you're currently looking for. So if you are actively looking for a job, you can put this specifically on your profile so that employers and recruiters know that you are available. Also keep all these other interest areas such as places you'd like to work, job roles, industries, keep that all updated and remember to hit save. You can do a more extensive version of this under career interests on the right side here. The more that you put in up front, the more likely you are going to have Handshake work for you. You are able to better use the algorithms to find relevant jobs and suggestions that will be given to you via notifications. Another thing you wanna check out here, notice that my profile is visible to employers, students, and alumni. This is called the community view. You want to make sure that you have this community view turned on because otherwise the only person who will be able to see your profile is you. So next we are going to go to job search and applications. So you are going to click on jobs. Notice that based on your major and some of those interests you indicated, it's already giving you some sample keywords to use. Whenever you are looking for a position, say during this time you want to look remotely, it might be good to use remote as a keyword. You might also consider using the job roles you indicated on your profile as a search term, which you can find even more of those if you're unsure of what terms on the career paths page off of the home screen. You can star things, aka favorite them, if it's something that you're interested in after reading through the description and maybe looking on the website to learn a little bit more. And take special note that remote positions, even if you don't live in, say, Philadelphia in this case, you can still work remotely anywhere. So don't count out things that are not currently in the Cleveland area. You can go over to my favorite jobs after you have favorited positions and see all the ones that are in there from the past. You will get notifications about these positions that will remind you to apply. Note that you also want to use the save your search option. So say if we go back to the main screen here without the favorite jobs, say if we want to look at remote internships and save this search, it makes a job alert for you. So that way, you can receive email notifications or push notifications anytime that something relates to that particular search. The nice part about some of these positions is that you can actually apply directly on Handshake if you have your resume uploaded. So remember I said that uploading your resume can be helpful in filling out your profile, but it also helps you in directly applying for positions. If I hit apply on this particular position, Notice that my already uploaded resume is here. I just have to click on it. If I had a cover letter uploaded, I could just click on that. And then any other required documents for that specific employer to upload. And once that's all done, you can submit your application. So Handshake is a great way to access career services resources remotely. If we go to Career Center, Resources, all of our resources that are currently in our office can now be accessed on here 24 seven. Everything from resume and cover letter guides to specific updates about COVID-19 and 
specific employers who are hiring at this time. You can click on any of these, such as interviewing resources, see some websites that can be helpful, and also use our attachments on the side, such as if you're trying to do an informational interview for the first time, or you want to use our online website called Big Interview and you've never used it before. All of these resources are available for you and they are free. Lastly, if you want to make an appointment with us, you can go back to Career Center, click Appointments, schedule a new appointment, and then click the type that you want based on whatever your particular needs are. So if you are prepping for an interview, you can see who is available on what day, at what time, say what you want help with, and what medium, so phone or video, is currently available and hit that request. Our office will approve that and you will receive more information before your appointment. In conclusion, Handshake is a great tool to help you achieve your career goals. If you would like to utilize it on your mobile device, you can download the Handshake app for free as well. If you have any other questions about this tool or other career concerns, feel free to contact Career Services at career at bw.edu.